All right, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've made some switches to the program. I'm not gonna be doing a super total program anymore uh, as we're getting more focused on the weightlifting side. We had a conversation with my coach and we decided we're gonna kind of switch some things up, focus more on weightlifting, take out some of the powerlifting type stuff, so no more deadlifts. I'm still gonna be doing some pressing as I feel that that's helped me with my overhead movements as well. So the format of this program is switching up. This is technically week one, day one of the new program that I'm gonna be running. Uh, I really like the way that we've set up this first six weeks. Uh, my coach has set it up in a way where the focus for this first six weeks is going to be kind of building that base level of fitness again. We're not gonna be hitting super high percentages on any of the Olympic movements, so the clean and jerk and the snatch is gonna be lighter, but we're just building in volume, kind of building up that base level of fitness before we kind of go into a more intense focus after this six weeks. The setup for it is a little bit different. I have some freedom on how I can play with like my sets and reps on everything. So I don't know if you guys can see it as well, but starting off with box jumps today, six sets of three, not gonna do something super crazy on that. Just kind of wakening up the CNS, getting the legs firing, getting ready to get into the snatches. The way that it's set up is I have snatches today at 120 and I've got 15 total reps to do and I can break those up into sets of one to three. So anywhere between one to three is the, the goal. The focus on this is I'm gonna be aiming to try to do sets of three on that every single time and making those reps as crisp as possible on each one of those sets. If I do two, let's say, and that second rep is a little bit shaky, I'm gonna cut it off there, take that last rep and move it on to the next set and try to continue on. So we're trying to make them as crisp as possible, make everything feel smooth and good, and then anywhere between sets of one to three on that. Same thing with the clean jerk. I've got 12 total reps to do anywhere between one to three cleans plus one jerk per set. So if I do two cleans, one jerk, that would count as two reps on that 12. If I do three cleans, that would count as three. So that number 12 there is how many total cleans I'm gonna do. I'm always gonna do one jerk after that. Same focus on that. Make those cleans feel as crisp as possible. Knock every jerk out, make it feel fast and snappy. And then front squats, I got 24 total reps to do at 147, anywhere between three to six reps per set. The front squat, not too focused on the kind of the form on that. My front squats are generally pretty good. So I'll probably be hitting sets of five to six on that every single time. And then that's gonna be the section. So I'm gonna get ready, set up some boxes, do some jumps, and then we're gonna get into it. Now that we're kind of starting back over, building back up as we go, 
the rest periods between each of these is going to be 90 seconds. So regardless if I do one rep or if I do three, it's only a 90 second rest in between. So I did my warm sets, we're at 120. I'm going to hit my first set here. My goal is to get these done in threes. We'll see how it goes. Rinse and repeat. based off the clean, not the jerk. So I think I'm gonna do these in twos, just cause that 90 second rest is sneaky. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a lot, it's not a lot of time. So a couple minutes here, then I'm gonna drop the weight back down, start rolling up, and we'll get after it with the clean jerks. <laughs> session. Whew. This is like my first full training session back in about two weeks. So about three weeks ago I had a really bad fever. Um, it turned into some serious, well kind of serious. I say kind of serious because I was able to kind of bounce back from it 
a lot quicker than I thought I was going to be able to. But what had happened was, is about a month or so ago, I had a sore throat. Didn't think anything of it. It wasn't too bad. It didn't feel like it was strep. So I didn't really do much with it. I didn't take any medicine or any throat sprays or anything. Um, it ended up being strep throat. And apparently, if you get strep throat and you don't do anything about it, that virus can spread throughout the body, uh, which is what happened with me. So I ended up getting the virus in my blood. That ended up giving me a fever. The fever was pretty extreme. It was for about 48 hours. It was between 39 and 40 Celsius, so about 103, 104 Fahrenheit, which is a dangerous level to have a fever, and especially sustained for that long. I was sweating like I'm sweating right now, non-stop for 48 hours. And it got to the point where I got extremely dehydrated. There wasn't, I was drinking a lot of Gatorade, a lot of water, nothing was working. I wasn't able to keep myself hydrated. Because of the fever, the extreme dehydration, my kidneys started to shut off and not work properly, which then, I don't know if it led to it or whatever, but my feet ended up swelling up to the point where I couldn't stand. My hands swelled up, my knees swelled up, I couldn't walk. I had to go to the hospital for a few days. They did a bunch of blood tests. They, what they called it right away was acute renal failure, so like short-term kidney failure. Uh, my white blood cell count was dangerously low. I had extremely high levels of protein in my urine because I did a urine test. Um, all the signs that kidneys weren't functioning the way that they were supposed to. So I was in the hospital for a few days, ended up getting IVs, getting everything fixed. Um, three, four days after that, everything started to like calm down. The fever went away. The swelling stayed around for about another four or five days after the fever had gone. And then when I got to the point where I could walk and move around, I started moving around a little bit, went to the hot tub, uh, went for walks just to try to get blood flow and just kind of move because I've been sitting basically in a bed for a week and a half straight. And then everything immediately kind of bounced back as soon as I was able to kind of move around. So this, another reason why we're kind of starting off at the beginning um, of a, a weightlifting period is I had two weeks off. So my coach and I decided it'd probably be the best fit to kind of reset. There's nothing really set on the calendar and competitions uh, until Worlds, which is you know months away towards the end of the year. So I got plenty of time to kind of reset the program, get ready for that, and then kind of build back up. So that's another reason why we're starting off with this type of like higher volume, lower rest period, build the fitness level up. Um, before we go into another strength phase and start building up on the lifts there. So that's a little bit of an update. Back in the gym, things, for as much of a struggle as it was, I really appreciate being here today. So it's a really fun, fun session. I still got front squats left to do. I got 24 reps at 147. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment, do whatever you want to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to film the front squats for you or not. Front squats are front squats. You guys have seen it all before. So, appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next one.